done it since year two, so now it's, it's well established on the calendar and it's something that you know, children do and they, they, they share that with their siblings. So families and the community of the school are aware that this is a really big event on our calendar and our year three children will be taking part. That first year was, was a celebratory event. It was only supposed to be a one-off. And local people saw it and went, what do you mean only one? Only one-off. And they decided to take it on and raise funds. And um, that's what they've been doing ever since. It's been amazing. The first couple of years, we were quite free with the, with the theme that we decided to follow. Alan and his colleagues would, would start off with a kind of training course for, for colleagues about how to actually produce um, various lanterns and then as a team would go away and think about that, say, right, well, well, what are we doing with our learning? What units are we doing? Um, you know, doing ancient Greek or ancient Egypt, we might want to link it to that, which we've done historically. And then as we've evolved, we've got the children more and more involved, and we've passed it over to them to say, okay, what would you like it to be about this year, guys? So there's more and more ownership and creativity from the children. This year, we're going with the bumblebees and the flowers, and that's been completely child-led. How did you make We need lampshades first, we covered, we covered it with the black thing. Oh, and, and, then, and then we had to paint, paint all over it in glue because it's waterproof. We used willow sticks to bend them. And then we put tin foil. They put two beads in. We know what a, a magical effect um, parading either daytime carnival or, or the nighttime uh, parade. It, it is a great celebratory effect, you know, and you'll see, you'll see many smiles and glazed eyes. And for children this age to be making, you know, something of this scale, you know, they, you know normally they're, they're, you get to make things desk size, don't you? It's always been an exciting for me to start children doing a large drawing um, and then building up into a three-dimensional object, colouring it and then putting lights inside it. There's, there's children that leave us in year six and they're just going, oh, they've still got their lantern, they've used it as a bedside, bedside lamp for all these years. And, you know, the structure, the quality, quality structures, people they took a lot of time and care making them and they, they treasure them. Mm. You know, it's really, really nice to see.